Yo, what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. I've wanted to talk about this for a while, but as you know, I had a lot of, let's say, internet issues. I was without it for two and a half weeks, so I couldn't really jump on the trending topics, and especially the topic I have wanted to talk about for ages. I missed it. I had no internet, and all this hype, and this everyone was bouncing around for Black Ops 4 teaser trailer, Ali A, T Matt, and all the COD cocksuckers were back jumping on that shit, riding that shit, and then they fucked off back to Fortnite when the hype died down. And there was a hashtag trending on Twitter at this time, and it was hashtag Fortnite is dead. Like, yeah, yeah, I mean, that's really hard to understand. Uh, people were tweeting Fortnite is dead because a Black Ops 4 teaser trailer came out when Call of Duty, any Call of Duty released in the past 10 years has never ever rocked the concurrent numbers that Fortnite has. And they've never been free. The only free Call of Duty game is the shitty Call of Duty Online which is only available in Russia and China at the minute I believe. So the fact that these cod cocksuckers were saying that Fortnite is going to die when they're using it to revive their channels then after they've gone through all the bullshit hashtags like, oh my god guys, fucking Fortnite is dead. Uh, tweeting all that shit, uh, uploading that shit to the channels. Then when the Black Ops 4 hype died down, where did they go? Of course, they went back to Fortnite. But, 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 but Harry, they were saying it was dead. Yeah, they were saying Fortnite was dead. Hyping up Black Ops 4. Then after they'd finished saying that, a week or two after the hype died down, after they had no more bullshit clickbait, Call of Duty Black Ops 4 videos to upload, they jumped back over to Fortnite. I mean, how goddamn hypocritical is that, guys? Come on, I'm waiting for the answers, guys. That is ridiculous. Now, let me break this down into the loosest terms possible. There is no physical human way that Call of Duty will ever dethrone Fortnite. The only thing that can dethrone Fortnite is itself, is Epic Games. They put out a bad update, they put out something which pisses off the community, that's when the game can suffer. There's no way this game will suffer from competition. PUBG was the most popular game in the world. It rocked over 25 million sales in under a year on PC alone. And Fortnite is outdoing PUBG. There's more people playing Fortnite than there is PUBG. Now that is down to it being on tons of different platforms. You've got it on mobile, PC, PS4, Xbox One. And you can run it on a goddamn potato. And the main thing, yeah, this is why COD will never kill Fortnite. Fortnite is free. It's free. How many good free-to-play games do we get what aren't infested with microtransactions and loot box bullshit? We don't get many. Most free-to-play games make up for it being free with bullshit microtransactions. And Fortnite has microtransactions in it, yes. But they're cosmetic only, and I can purely say that from the bottom of my heart. They are only cosmetic. You can buy emotes, you can buy different costumes, but there's no pay-to-win bullshit. Now, the only other free-to-play game what I know that does this well, as well, is Warframe, and that's a massively popular game also. But the thing, that <laughs> these COD fuckboys think that COD will ever, ever dethrone Fortnite is fucking crazy. And, I mean, come on. Come on, lads. A massive thing now behind the game's success and popularity is damn streamers and YouTubers. And guess what game the biggest streams in the world like right now? I'll give you a little clue, lads. It starts with an F. Yeah, that's it. It's, it's fucking Fortnite. You've got Myth. You've got Ninja. You've got all these goddamn TSM members, Dakotas. Everyone's playing Fortnite. Dr. Disrespect was the biggest Twitch streamer in the world last year. He's been absolutely blown out of the water by Ninja. They're all playing Fortnite. All these PUBG streamers, like Shroud, Dr. Disrespect, uh, Grims, they've all jumped over to Fortnite. It gets them more views, and they're saying Fortnite, uh, PUBG's dying. Now, I don't agree with the statement that PUBG's dying, but its popularity has definitely declined because of Fortnite. I'll be honest, I hated Fortnite when I first started playing it. But now, I much prefer Fortnite to PUBG. Fortnite's funner, the games are faster, I like the art style, and you can play it with people who can't fucking afford PUBG. A massive thing for me, as well, is that the game is cross-platform. 
So what that means is if you're on PC and your friends on PS4 or Xbox One, they can't afford a computer, you can play with them. Now, they may be shit. I mean, <laughs> most likely they're not going to be as good as someone on PC and they'll get the fucking asses handed to them. But it's the compatibility. You can play with people on other platforms. On PUBG, that's not possible. On Call of Duty, that's not possible. And we guaranteed, lads. I mean, come on at this point. Asking for microtransactions not to be in Call of Duty is like asking for Call of Duty not to be multiplayer. They're going to be in, regardless of what people fucking want. And Treyarch are big offenders for putting in microtransactions that aren't just cosmetic. I mean, Black Ops 3 had shitloads of weapon variants. Now, they might do what Sledgehammer Games did and just go for cosmetic only. I don't know, guys. I somehow doubt that because this is where COD can really, really up their market share. People are so excited for Treyarch because Treyarch's return to form, if you will. So they'll eat those microtransactions up. Kids will be buying it like crazy. So I think Activision are going to they're going to take the stick and they're going to put bullshit microtransactions in it. Which is another reason why Fortnite will never be killed by Call of Duty. Unless they fuck up majorly and just overload the game with utter bollocks. And continue to neglect how popular the game is. And don't fix the fucking lag issues that they've got currently. Now another massive, massive, massive thing with Call of Duty is on Twitch... A month after its launch, when COD's meant to be in its prime, after, after the game's launched, the, the, the COD cocksuckers are on it. They're putting up all these tips and tricks videos, how to spend your supply drops, how to get the best weapons, how to deep throat that COD cock like a champ, how to get a super duper blue fucking Cooper Jeep. That's right, guys. They just approached me at this moment in time. I definitely did not receive any emails asking for a sponsorship, and I definitely want to share this moment with you guys. I've been taking a lot of Adderall, so I'm a, I'm a bit fucking all over the place, but it's definitely an awesome Call of Duty gambling site. You go on here, you, you win tons of supply drops, you get some fucking cool skins, and, and, and you can help me get your fucking money. What else is not to love, guys? Dumbass motherfucker. Now, all the T Martin and Ali A jokes aside, Cod is dead on Twitch a month after release. I mean,. Cod World War 2 released in uh, November, we're only in April, and it's only got 600 fucking viewers on Twitch right now. Fortnite's got over 100 damn thousand, and it's a free-to-play game. Literally, there's 30 free-to-play games with more viewers than Cod World War 2 now. That is crazy. I mean, I made this joke in the last video, but I was still getting comments uh, and people tweeting at me saying... Black Ops 4 is going to kill Fortnite. Black Ops 4 is going to kill Fortnite. No, it's not, you dumb fuckers. Like I've said, the only game which can kill Fortnite is itself. Its own success. And maybe, just maybe, if people get sick of Battle Royale games. I mean, MMOs were the massive, biggest thing in gaming early, in the early 2000s. Then, towards 2009, 2010, 2011, FPS games were the dog's bollocks. Call of Duty, Medal of Honor, Battlefield. All these games were fucking thriving. Now, 2017 and 2018 are definitely the year of the Battle Royale game. And then, 2012 onwards was the years of the MOBA. Now, they are declining very slowly. Still got big player counts, but nowhere near PUBG and Fortnite players. I mean, there is some Battle Royale games what are dead, like King of the Kill, Fortnite and PUBG absolutely destroyed that game. That game is fucking dead. And that's how Call of Duty is going to look. If Black Ops 4 does not innovate and do something spectacularly, then the game's gonna die. I mean, COD World War 2 did nothing great. It was worse than World at War, which is over eight years fucking old, and that, that astonishes me. How is a game in 2017 worse than a game so much older? Uh, less gore, shitter weapons, shitter maps, SJW politically correct bollocks, and all the cancerous YouTube times. I mean, YouTube channels back in Cod World at War's time were just like, they were genuine. None of this clickbait, red arrow, bollocks. And, oh, that pisses me off so much. Now, sure, we've still got some awesome channels which do happen to cover Call of Duty. You've got eight thoughts. I'd like to say myself and a couple of other selectors which haven't just jumped on the Fortnite bandwagon and slapped red cancerous arrows all over their videos. But that's all I want to say, lads. I just want to say, 
don't get it in your head that fucking the new Call of Duty will kill Fortnite. No, it won't. It really won't. I mean, I've even had some of my viewers saying it were going to kill it. Like, fuck off. There's, there's no chance. And I hated Fortnite when it first came out. And I found myself drawn to this game now. It's just so fun. It's easy to jump in. It's playable on every damn platform. There's nothing you can really slag it off of. Cause it's a free-to-play game. If you don't like it, just go off the game. Play something which is a AAA developed game. Uh, I do support Epic Games. They're giving it constant updates. Constantly adding new weapons. Constantly doing things around current events like Easter. They had tons of outfits in. They changed the guns. Christmas, they did the same thing. Halloween, they did the same thing. And that's something we want in gaming. We want these developers to listen to what people say and change the game around what they're saying. And that's something Call of Duty has lacked for fucking years. They buff the wrong guns, they nerf the wrong guns, they add shit maps, they do shit DLCs, they just don't give a fuck. No one wanted the SJW bollocks, they went ahead and did that anyway, and all these COD YouTubers were still sucking that cock, pretending to love the game, when they know, deep down, they don't give a shit. Ali is one, he's fucked the game off now, he's not made a COD video in goddamn ages, and I can salute him for that, even though he's riding the Fortnite cock, shit, he's not doing COD World War 2 bullshit anymore. Anyway, lads, if you did enjoy this video, smash the thumbs up. I love you all, and I will see you all in the next video. Also, if you haven't already, please follow me on Twitter. It will be linked below. And if you want to support the channel and you're going to buy some off Amazon anyway, I do leave my Amazon affiliate links in the description. Now, this just means I get a little bit of money off what you purchase. Now, it's going to cost you the exact same amount, so if you're going to buy a goddamn graphics card... You'll pay the same price as with Amazon directly. I'll just get a little kickback. So you're just helping your boy out with his channel. I love you all. Peace, lads. That's a real hot album, homie. I wonder who wrote it. Oh, shit. Oh, Tay. Pray them niggas go away. Oh, we sell the clowns around. It look like Circus Soleil. This is not the album either. These are just the throwaways. This shit's still so cold when it drops. It's gonna be a motherfucking snow day. Hey, boy, it's good in